Hmm. It's on a wrong battery, so auto startup sounded a little trying very hard. Um, I am crossing the border today, actually, right now. Uh, this is my first time taking the Land Cruiser or a Land Cruiser to the States. It's kind of sad that uh, Alta never gotten to travel in the States because when I brought him over from Australia to Canada, it was COVID. And um, when border travel was just open up, we were far north up in Yukon. And then, yeah, he never made it. So it will be interesting passing the border because I have a Nexus. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, a Nexus is like a North American um, country's fast pass kind of thing if you travel across the border a lot um, would highly recommend applying for a nexus card and the thing is when you go through the gate you kind of need to swipe your card out of your car window so they can get all of your information on the computer right away you have your own lane you skip all the line up the problem is same as the drive-through services if you're on the right hand drive you can't really reach out to the left side a door so i had to um i typed my nexus card on the window frost scraper thing and then i'm going to use this to extend my reach out there and hopefully it will scan it's going to be hilarious so crossing the border to not really travel i wish um i have a package that i need to pick up from Jackery, reason being somehow there's a law in Canada that prohibit 200 watt solar panel. So I can't get the 200 watt solar panel shipped to me directly to Canada. So I'll have to go grab them in the States. Definitely nice to have an open trunk to put your stuff in. One thing about this jackery, the first thing that came into my mind was, uh, remember I complained about their handle being fixed? One thing I don't really like about the jackery is the handle does not fold down. So if I want to charge something and then put the thing, say for example, my chainsaw battery on top, I can't do it or like anything. Somebody listened, watch this. It's now a flat surface on top. This is good. This is really good. Probably a super weird moment for you guys. Why am I lighting up the candle on a chair? Because I didn't have anything. <laughs> Life update. This is kind of exciting and for the most part scary. I moved into a house. Um, the upper stair to be exact. I can't afford a house by myself yet. And I don't know if I ever will. Um, stepping into the whole mortgage and thing has, it's still very scary to me. <sighs> sort of, I've promised myself after getting the Jeep is that I will never put myself into debt ever again. So moving into a house has been quite a choice for me to make because somehow it eventually just becomes I don't know if I'm getting a place here because I like living here or because it's close to what I'm around uh, or I have to stay here because I gotta pay I gotta work for this huge chunk of debt you know sure mortgage it's got a different name it's called mortgage but it's still it's debt it's the money you owe anywho this is what it is. As you can see, I have nothing and I am still um, unpacking some of my things. This is the rawest stage of what it looks like. I hate how in the winter days get dark so early. You don't get to see anything. It's not even that late because I just came back from the border and I was about to make dinner. And of course I don't have anything. <laughs> I have, I have enough. I have my pot from camping. I have um, my pans from camping and I have my air fryer. That's the most important thing. And 
But living in the Lancusa give me a parking spot I can survive for a very long time and now giving me a house, I all of a sudden feel like I have to fill it up, you know, all this space. I need to get so many stuff that I don't really need. Anyways, let's make dinner. Boil your airbrush, drop in your fish, push it in. We are cooking at about 300 Fahrenheit at 15 minutes. Should be good. Speaking of not having anything, I don't even have a kettle if I want warm water, but I do have a kettle that runs 12 volt power. Work with what we gotta work with. If you can survive out in the wild, you can survive in the house, right? At least you got seemingly unlimited running water. That's actually really good. Twelve volt is right over here. Let's turn on the twelve volt. Boiling. Brand new Jackery two thousand Pro. This one actually got two thousand one hundred and sixty watt hour. 2160. It's got a fast charge with just two and a half hours with solar and two hours with your wall plug. You have two AC output, your 12 volt, two USB, two USB-C, and one massive output light hidden nicely in its own rubber compartment. Press the LED light once, it will enter into the low light mode. When you press it again, it will go into high light mode. It's actually pretty bright. I usually don't ever use one when the battery comes with one, but this one seems like it actually will be very helpful to light up your campsite. If you're watching my video on time, you should be able to still catch the Black Friday big sale where you can get this unit with $1,080 USD off. Plus, they are doing a live stream giveaway of an adventure trailer. I will put a link down below. Um, you can sign up and keep an eye on Basically, they will update you of everything that's happening and the awesome sales that they are having. If this is too much for your needs, I mean, you can never have too much power. They also have sales on all the other models. I believe there's a 1000 Pro that also have the fold down handle that you can stack things on top now. My favorite, favorite part. And the LED screen seems to be updated with the whole new display. Got your circle that shows you how much power you have left. Even though it's such a big battery, it's actually not very heavy. Sitting at around 19 kilogram, even a small girl like me can lift it up fairly easily. I can do it with just a single hand. Show you the new solar panel. This time it comes in a bag that protects the panel itself. A pretty basic but idea that I don't really see a lot of brands do. He's quite heavy duty. Zip Multiple folds, wow. Whoa. One thing I really like about these legs is that even though it folds down, it actually got a magnet here to keep it shut. Hear this, it's magnetized. And your cables are positioned in the pocket inside here. You can tell it's new, <laughs> I haven't even opened it. Always should test out your gear at home. So when you're outside, you know what to do with it and you know it works. We can connect just one or you can double it up. So the inputs are all in the back. DC input. And the output for this one is very hidden on top of here. It's part of your handle hinge. I love all these little details. You don't have anything sticking out. Everything's been nice and protected. I kept Velcroing myself onto this. If you want to connect two solar panels, Jackery actually has built-in dual input. So I can put that board on right now. So now you can have two input with no extra parts, all built-in in the Jackery itself. Um, I doubt there's any power coming in right now because it is getting dark again. Oh, winters, come on. 
But I do have a little thing I want to show you. If you want to connect more than two solar panels, but there's only two input plugs, this little attachment will come in handy. You can literally plug in three panels here and it will combine into one input. You put it into one and you still have one spot for another. So technically you can connect six. That's three times two. It's math. They have this little plug thing, I guess it's for if you're only using two, you can plug one up so you don't dust it or make it dirty. Not going to lie, opening up the Jack Rusola generator 2000 Pro in the backyard make me miss being on the road. The lazy mornings when I open up two solar panels while making breakfast or one. As for right now, living in this house by myself felt a lot like living in Malankuzo by myself. I was still eating with camping utensils and sleeping under a heating blanket. But once you have four walls or a circle fence around you, there's an urge to fill the space up with stuff. Full disclaimer, I'm not supposed to be the only one living on this property. Other tenants haven't moved yet, so I'm here alone till when they come and fill the space up with their stuff. I remember I said I don't have anything. I literally just slept on the floor. The bed frame, I just haven't got time to like put it up. And this is a tiny twin bed that has been just laying vertically in my mom's basement. I believe we got it more than a decade ago from IKEA where we just landed in Canada. So um has been just abandoned and um when i got this place i'm like hey mom can i have that one and sort of also helped her out to clean up the basement a bit i guess if i think about that i feel pretty good about myself so um since we got a bit of time today let's put the bed together by the way this little it holder thing is really good it's got a carabiner you can hang it on your bag and stuff and get most of the bits that you use out here. You can literally just pop one out right, right there. When it's on it, it doesn't move. Choose whatever you want and yeah. For this one, we're using it Torx T25. Does anyone's drill over time dust this? This is only a year old. Come on, Milwaukee. I should probably send it in for warranty, but in the meantime, I won't have anything to use, so that's kind of annoying. Warranty is uh, good to have, but the best is to have the product not having any trouble, not having any issues, so you don't have to deal with it. Oh well. Look, I have wild rabbit on my property. Blends in so well with the dirt, I almost didn't see ya. Hey! Right there. Hey, buddy. Did he used to live here, maybe? No. Do not want to make friends. All right. <laughs>